northern Saskatchewan, rugged, remote, unspoiled and unforgiving. Here, waterways teeming with fish spill over thundering waterfalls and wind through taiga and northern boreal forests. In late August and early September, my wife Tori, our dog Buck and I spent 14 days paddling northern Saskatchewan's Porcupine River. Along the way, we'd encountered everything from exciting whitewater rapids and treacherous portages to bad weather and bears. This is the story of our adventure. Our trip begins with a long drive through Ontario, Manitoba and into Saskatchewan where we'll head way up north to the end of the road at Stony Rapids. It's a four-wheel drive, and you know, these vehicles are meant to be driven. We are in Stony Rapids, Saskatchewan, and uh, our float plane charter leaves in one hour. So we're gonna go over to the float plane base, we're gonna go through our stuff, make sure we have everything we need, and uh, load the plane. We're taking a twin otter, which is really exciting. It's huge. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> He doesn't like stairs. Okay, here we go. Got my ear protection in. We're flying out to Selwyn Lodge. We're well past the road system now, and this is real wilderness. It's an amazing feeling to look out over this beautiful country that remains unaltered by the hands of man. We land at remote Selwyn Lodge where our trip finally begins. We start by crossing Selwyn Lake until we reach the flow of the Porcupine River. The plan is to follow the Porcupine to the confluence of the Fond du Lac and then continue on to the community of Black Lake. With any luck, we should be done this trip in 14 days. We did a bunch of open water crossings on Selwyn Lake and now we're camped here at the mouth of the Porcupine River. Bugs aren't uh, too, too bad. A few black flies though, to be expected, but uh, a lot of berries around here, a lot of blueberries. We're just getting camp set up, getting some firewood cut, and uh, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat, and it looks like a pretty nice spot here. So day two, and uh, after being really exhausted, um, we slept in, and so we're deciding to eat lunch instead of breakfast. What is that? Summer sausage, ready crisp bacon, cheese, and mustard? Yep. Amazing. We've got some pretty serious rapids to deal with today. Now I'm really excited to give this whitewater boat a test. This is a 16.6 Novacraft Moisey, which is a specific whitewater boat. And now we're going to bomb a steep and uh, bouldery class 2 first rapid of the trip and get those uh, pre-rapid jitters out of us because we're going to have a lot more white water to come. And what's Buck going to do? He's going to run alongside of the portage trail. He'll meet us at the end. He's actually a little worried that we're going to go without him, I think.
size one. Whoa! There's another nice one. Yeah, we got to gorgeous campsite on Offset Lake, of course, on the Porcupine River system. And uh, just before getting to camp, we caught a really nice pike too. It looks like a good eater, so looking forward to a good meal. Pulling this piece off there. Here's how to set up a tarp with no trees. You peg down the back of the tarp to the ground or put rocks along the back. And you tie the ends to paddles and use guy lines to run from the top of the paddles and then peg them into the ground. And you put one paddle or stick in the middle to hold it all up. That's going to be for dinner. Drinking some of Tori's famous hot chocolate and rye whiskey. Famous? 